It's early 2023 and I've just discovered this thing called self-improvement on YouTube. I see all these people promoting the self-improvement lifestyle. Andrew Tate, Hamza, you name them. Making progress in their life. Like getting the girls, getting the money, getting the physique. And I wanted to be a part of this. I wanted to join these guys and get the results that they were getting. But the only way I was actually able to make progress in self-improvement and in my life was just comparing myself to these people that I saw on social media. The only reason I made progress in the gym to get a better physique was because I saw these people having a good physique. The only way I was able to make YouTube videos was because I saw these people doing the same thing and getting the results, getting the subscribers and getting the money. I was only able to make progress in my life by comparing myself to these people. And guess what happened since I kept doing that? I kept comparing myself to these guys. I kept comparing my subscriber count to these guys. I kept comparing my body to these guys. I kept comparing my social skills to these guys, everything. And I'd only feel happy with the progress I would make with my physique and with my YouTube channel is because I got closer to what these guys had. I got closer to the physiques that I would see on social media. I got closer to that subscriber count which these guys had. And that put so much pressure on me, bro. I always had this subconscious feeling of not doing as well as these guys. I always have that pressure and stress of not achieving what these guys that I saw on social media were achieving. I'd see my skinny ass physique in poor lighting and compare it to these guys' physiques, which were in like perfect lighting just after like a massive gym session. And I felt like shit. I felt like shit doing this because I felt that I wasn't making the progress that is on par with them. I felt like I was doing below average progress because I wasn't getting close to the people that I saw on social media. And brother, if you are doing this to yourself, you are basically torturing yourself. Bro, no one you see on social media is perfect. Social media is just an outlet for people to share their highlights. But that doesn't necessarily mean that their life is always like that. They always are going to have lowlights as well throughout their day. They just don't share that on po social media. They just don't post that on social media. You know, you'll see someone's Greek God physique on social media. You think their physique is always like that 24 seven? 24 hours before their picture was taken, they had a flabby ass fucking stomach. I don't actually know if that's true. I just fucking made that up, but you get the point. They don't always look like that. They don't always have that gym pump 24 seven. They don't have the perfect lighting for their abs to be revealed 24 seven. They only have that when they post it for social media. And by thinking you're not good enough, by comparing yourself to these people that you see on social media, you're basically comparing your lowlights and your low moments to their highlights and their best moments of their life. Would someone with a decent level of self-respect actually do that to themselves? Really ask that question to yourself right now. Would a healthy person do that to themselves? Probably not, right? And bro, I don't blame you for this. I used to do this all the time. My progress was strictly correlated to the people that I would see on social media. If I saw something on social media that I wanted, I would only make progress to compare myself to these people and see how much closer I got to these people. I didn't want to do good just for myself. I wanted to do good because I thought the people that I saw on social media were good. But then I realized something and you want to know what it was? The only person that I should be ahead of is the person that I was in the past. I shouldn't focus on anybody else's progress. I should only focus on my progress and compare myself to the past version of me. That is the only person that I should strive to be better from. I have no one else to compete with but the person I was yesterday. You don't need to be ahead of some fucking dude that you see on social media that who doesn't even know you, basically. You shouldn't compare yourself to people that you see on social media that don't even know you exist. How is, how is that an outlet of happiness? The only person you should be competing with in your life is yourself. That's how you're actually going to make meaningful progress in my life. That's how I made meaningful progress in my life. And not just making progress, because anyone and everyone can make progress if they do something enough. What actually matters is feeling happy about the progress that you make. Think about it, if you don't feel fulfillment or happiness about the progress that you make, when you get to that end destination of what you wanted, 
you are not going to feel good about it. Because as cliche as it sounds, it's not about the destination. It's about how you got there. It's about the journey. If I was to go to some 10 out of 10 beach seaside place, but the journey there, I lost my friend. Would I enjoy that? Probably not, right? Of course, that's a very extreme example, but you get what I'm saying. So the next time you want to get somewhere, you need to actually think, is this actually going to make me happy? Not just the destination. Is the process of getting there actually going to make me happy? If not, then it's probably not for you, bro. And that's okay. If some random dude on social media gets fulfillment from, I don't know, sleeping with 10 girls, that's good on them. Which I'm just not like that. I don't want that. That's not me. If that fulfills you, that's fine. But you can't just base your happiness off someone else that you see on social media. You can't just say, oh, he he likes sleeping with 10 girls, so I must like sleeping with 10 girls. That's not how that works. You have to actually think, would the process of getting to that destination make me happy? And if it doesn't, then it's probably not for you, bro. Hopefully that video helped you in any way possible. Thanks for watching.